Hey again. So I thought it would be nice to take a walk on the 606 during sunset. Now, I did a video on the 606. I'm actually thinking of redoing it. I filmed it in high definition and some, for some reason there was a glitch and it just, it came out in like lower definition, but I'm gonna redo this. So this is the way up from that little park area. Take a little shortcut. As you see, the sun is directly in front of us. I'm walking slowly because I want to have a sunset. 606, very pretty. Now, if you haven't seen my other video about the 606, this was an abandoned, it's an abandoned converted train track. Um, it was built in 1873, originally ground level. In 1910s, the city passed an ordinance to, um, to make this elevated so they could prevent, you know, they could have less fatalities from pedestrians on the tracks. So, it runs through this area, Wicker Park, Bucktown, Westtown, Humboldt Park. And it went from Halstead Street all the way to Elgin, Illinois. The last train was in 2001. The city bought it in 2013 and it was open to the public on, in 2015. It is the largest greenway project in all of the United States. So that's cool. And it is really pretty. We're, we're, we're more on the east side. It goes east to west. So we're going west right now. So on this part, there's less greenery and it's more populated. More buildings, more houses, more posh. But as we keep going, which we're not going to go the full way, um, you know, not in this video, but I think I'm going to redo the 606. You'll see as we get more towards the end at the west side, there is lots more green, more trees, more plants. It's just less populated, less buildings. But I walk this almost daily. Even in the winter, if there's no snow, I'll walk it. It's a great way of getting to where you need to go fast in this part of the city. As I said, it goes through Humble Park, um, Logan Square, Wicker Park, Bucktown, Westtown. walking too slow. I kind of want to take my time so I can watch the sunset. If you're visiting and you're coming to Chicago, this is a cool place to go. It's definitely something you might want to check out if you're into things like this. You know, especially if you're staying in downtown loop area, which most people do. You know, there's you're, you know, besides a lakefront, it'd be hard not to find something like this unless you go more on the outskirts of the city. It's only a 2.7 mile stretch. If you're downtown, you can easily get here by hopping on the blue line to O'Hare and getting off 
at Western and then walk in from there. It's about, I would say about three blocks, city blocks. Here, actually we're right by Western, so I'll show you. So you would get off right there with those train tracks right there and you'll walk right over. It's the only, it's the only um, train stop, the only way you could access, access this part, 606 is on the train is only in this area. So Western is the most easily accessible to the path. keep speeding up because I'm naturally a wa fast walker. This is a little blooming little trail, trailhead bathroom. Really new to Chicago to have a public bathroom out non-monitored like that. Chicago isn't, isn't the best at taking care of things, keeping things nice. But so far it's been a success. I wish I timed this better. I was hoping that we, the sun would have started setting and come down as we're walking. But it's still pretty nonetheless. These are some nice houses off to the side. Look how three story high. It's cray cray. One, one, 11, make a wish. So this, sometimes I like to just sit here, take a little break. It's not much to look at, but you know, this is a Bloomingdale Street right here. And that's actually what this trail is named after, is the Bloomingdale Trail, because that's Bloomingdale Street. Now, 606 has, comes from two things. A, um, no, I'm sorry, comes from, the 606 comes from our 606 prefix for our zip codes. So it's like a symbol to connect all of Chicago in a way that cheesy, like, we are all one, one we fight, one we stand, kind of thing. And also they did it to homage. Back in the day, they used to name rail lines, rail lines, instead of naming them names, they named them numbers. And so the 606. And I believe that's what they nicknamed it back in the day. So, yeah, as you can see, the sun is looking really pretty. So let's continue. I wish I did the wide angle can camera so you get the sun better. I always forget to do that. Let me know how you guys, what you guys think. If you've seen some of my other videos, do you guys like this regular um, frame or do you like the wide, the wide frame? Let me know what you guys think.
some water fountains, which makes me a bit wary considering we're in a pandemic. But you know, people gotta drink water. It's better to, you know, to have that hair, it's, it's, you know, instead of someone passing out on this track, because you know, in the height of the day, as you can see, there's not many, sh there's not much shade. So when it's humid and hot and then the sun is literally blaring down on you, yeah, you need that water. My stop is coming up. Well, the one I usually get off to go home. But I think I'm going to keep going to the next, walk to the next one in hopes of watching the sun go down a little more. Get the cute little patios. It's in a little rest area. Common. Families taking their, you know, nightly stroll. So cute. As you can see, this is a very convenient way of cutting across a lot of streets. No street lights, no nothing. You know, as I said in the 606 video I did before, you know, this isn't really a touristy spot. This is more used by locals. But, you know, I don't know why tourists don't explore it more. It's a, it's a, I wouldn't say a unique thing, but it's definitely something that you know, some of our competitive cities don't really have much. So, not to sound like a cheesy tour guide or anything. Just a sign. I 
I once did a randonautica and it sent me to this, this children's school. I know it's a little weird. Um, and it was closed and I was like, why? I set my intention for something wonderful and, you know, like dreamlike and childlike and happy and I get there. And I'm like, what? I mean, I guess, yeah, it's a child place. I'm like, oh my God, how typical. Like, it's so cliche. But then at the same moment, a butterfly, a beautiful orange and black dotted butterfly gets right in front of me and ha about a little heart shape of its wings is missing. And it sits there on the fence in front of me and it just starts fluttering slowly. And I took that as a sign. That was wonderment, that was magical. So I usually get off at this stop, but I'm gonna take it to the next one. Because why not? As you can see, see what I mean? We're getting farther west. And you see how there's the trees, much more, many more trees and grass. Because this is where the area that I live in and it's, although it's a cool place and it's considered a hip place, it's not as, I wouldn't say it's, I mean, it's gentrified, it's pretty gentrified, but it's not nearly as populated as Wicker Park. So you got less development so less de destruction of natural habitats. One of my favorite parts of the trail is actually at, almost at the very end, going west. It's like you're surrounded by trees that look like this actually. And there's like just so many and on both sides, and it looks like you're walking through a forest. It's really cool in Chicago that has something that looks like that. So the next stop is coming up. I want to be like, oh, I'll keep going, but I'm tired. <laughs> I've walked earlier. I walked about six miles and today I walked about and this trip. I walked about five miles, so I am pooped. But yeah, it's a lovely night. It's a nice, beautiful end of summer night. If the weather could stay like this, I would be so happy. The street lights are starting to come on. So yeah, I'm coming up to my stop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, just, you know, hit that like button, maybe subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye.